Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn one more container service which is provided by AWS. That is AWS ECS. Let's say if I want if I want to run my servers in containers. So when do I choose this ECS? If I want to run my servers on containers, then in that case you need to choose this ECS. That is, let me write that point. When do we choose this ECS? If you want, if you want to run servers, if you want to run servers in containers, then you choose this ECS. If anybody asks you, where do you run your workloads? That means batch of workloads. Then you need to answer AWS batch. So if you want to run your batch of workloads on containers, then AWS provides you batch service to run those batch of containers in AWS. So if you want to run servers on containers, then what service you need to choose? You need to choose AWS ECS. What type of servers can I able to run, sir? You wish you can able to run web servers, you can able to run application servers, like that many other servers you can able to run on this ECS by using what containers, right? Yeah. So where do we run, sir? Where do we run these containers? These containers runs under clusters. What? These containers runs under clusters. So what is cluster? Cluster is nothing but group of group of your computing services or else group of your computing yeah group of your computing services so group of computing services what do we call we call it as cluster sir can i say let me pick a compute service that is ec2 let me let me create a group of such ec2 such ec2s let's say this is a place where i created a group of ec2s that is, this is one EC2 and in similar way, I created two more EC2s on down. So this is one EC2 and in similar way, I'd like to create two more EC2s just adjacent to it. So let's say I created two more EC2s here. Okay. Sir, can I say, can I say I have now a group of computing services? Yes. You have certain set of group of EC2s there. So can I call this group as a cluster? Yes. You call this whole group, you call this whole group as clusters. If you want to maintain, if you want to maintain multiple EC2s, then do you need to, do you need to, can you able to, uh, that means uh, do you need to provide the infrastructure? Yes. So you need to choose what are the infrastructure, what are the things that you require, those things that you need to choose. Let's say this is a cluster because it is having a group of EC2s and by using EC2s only can I able to create? No. So if you want to, if you want if you want to launch EC2s, that means if you want to launch your servers by specifying whatever the operating system that you want. So whatever the operating system, what are the infrastructure that I need to maintain, then you can choose EC2. When do I choose Fargate, sir? So you can able to choose AWS Fargate as well. AWS Fargate. Whenever you don't want to maintain you don't want to maintain the servers, then you can able to choose this forget. In this forget also, you can now able to, in this forget also, AWS creates these EC2s only, but the only change is, but the only change is, if you create EC2s by your own, then who will maintain those EC2s? You only write. But in forget, who will create these EC2s for you? 
AWS. AWS will create and manage and maintain everything for you whenever you provide whenever you provide an image to run in containers then this in this fargate based on some algorithm your image is put in any one of the server and that was run in the form of containers right yeah so where do you run where do you run these servers or containers in ECS? Where do we run these servers? We run these servers in containers. So where do those containers will run? These containers will run under cluster. So based on the cluster you choose in that cluster, your containers will run. So while choosing, while choosing these clusters, you have multiple options. That is either you can choose either you can choose while choosing clusters you have an option in ECS you have to choose the clusters in ECS elastic container service if you open in AWS there you can see an option called clusters so in order to run your in order to run your containers do you need to create clusters of course in ECS it is must so first you need to create your own clusters so by using what are the services can I able to create sir? Sir, let's say I don't want to maintain whole my infrastructure of cluster. That means group of servers, right? Cluster is nothing but group of compute services. So I don't want to maintain like this. I don't want to maintain my group of services. Then which cluster you use? Fargate. Fargate is a cluster. Huh. By using the Fargate service, AWS, you can able to create cluster without focusing on infrastructure let's say i want full control over my infrastructure that is created under cluster then which service do i need to choose sir you can choose ec2 you can choose ec2 where let's say i choose my ec2 so in my cluster in my cluster do i have only one ec2 instance no right i have multiple ec2 instances so to specify that i need to provide minimum number of ec2 instances that my cluster have and maximum number of EC2 instances that my cluster have, right? Yes. So in order to create this EC2 instance, can I tell what is the operating system which runs on under this EC2 instance? Yes. So that also we need to specify if you choose EC2. And you have another option that is external EC2s. That is if you, this ECS also provides you to use on premises servers so by using this external by using this external ec2s you can even use the compute service which which is available from your on premises okay so now let's say sir how many how many compute services that i can able to choose at a time in cluster you can able to choose multiple compute services as well so let's say, can I choose only EC2 for creating this cluster? Of course. Can I choose only Fargate to clear, create this cluster? Yes. Let's say, now in this case, I wish I wish to choose both EC2 and Fargate. I, I wish to choose both EC2 and Fargate. So I have chosen this EC2 and Fargate. Then how my cluster will be? Your cluster will be like this. You have Fargate one side and you have EC2's one side. It will be created like this. So now where can i run my task where can i run my task in these servers right i have i have created a clusters there i have my servers so there my task will run right yeah so my task will run either in this fargate or else in this ec2 instances so can i say to run my task do i need to tell can my to run my task Let's say if I choose EC2, if I choose EC2s, then to run my task, that is nothing but to run your server's code. Now, do, do I use only one EC2? No, right. I can use multiple number of EC2s. So can I need to specify how many EC2s, that is minimum number of EC2s and maximum number of servers that I need to host my server, host my website? Yes. So you can you you can specify those minimum and maximum number of uh, servers 
let's say i have more traffic then do i need auto scaling yes so if you choose ec2 if you choose ec2 while creating your task then you also need to specify auto scaling group so let's say i choose i want to choose from forget since i have created ec2s or else forget servers then in this forget how many types of servers do i have i have on demand servers and i have ability to choose spot servers spot servers that is forget spot if you choose forget spot then to run your task if you choose forget spot then where your servers will launch your servers will launch at spot instances in this forget so you don't need to worry about spot instances instances launching at all it will be take care by whom aws since it is providing everything for us in forget so if you want to maintain servers infrastructure then which you need to choose ec2 okay so in order to run in order to run task i need to configure task right yes so where can you configure sir in this ecs you have under ecs you have tasks you have task definition what so under ecs you have task definition there you have to define your task so where my task is present actually my task is present at docker container images right docker images so since i am running my servers in the form of containers in the form of containers what can i able to run containers uh, by using which code i can able to run containers by using docker code only right by using docker images i can able to run my containers so first you need to write your application code and then you can use that code to run that application code you use docker images and by using that docker container image you can able to run you can able to run this docker container image in clusters in ecs clusters so for that first in task definition you need to specify what is the docker container image that you want to run since the docker container image will contain everything that you want to run that is your application and its dependencies so i hope you watched the previous video where i have told you about how docker files will run on your containers how docker files run on actual docker platform so if you don't watch then please go and watch it so that you can have a good idea on how your docker images run on your docker containers so here you need to specify the docker containers at first that means to run your code or you to perform your task you need to specify in the task definition what is the docker container image that you want to run and then you need to select what you need to select you need to select a cluster that means you have already created cluster right so in this cluster which service that you want which service that you want to use for running this task that you also need to define so you define the docker container images and you need to define since you created your cluster by using ec2 and forget you can use ec2s or else forget any one of the option that you can able to choose to run this clusters right yeah so to run to run on clusters you can have to choose any one of the option in the task so let's say i want to access ec2 to run my to run my task that means to run my task i need to i need to run it on ec2 instances now you can tell me how this ecs will access that ec2 this ecs requires permission right to access that uh, ec2 and run my servers on that ec2 yes so how can you able to provide this permission i can able to provide this permission by using role so which role iam role so during specifying iam roles in solution architect associate course i have told you about the iam roles if you don't have idea about it then you can go and see there by using the iam roles you can able to create temporary permissions without credentials and you can able to access aws services 
to other AWS services. Okay. And let's say I have created my task and my task is running under containers, right? Yeah. So now how can I able to access the task by using, how can I able to access the task by using HTTP request? That is by using my website only, right? Yes. So where can I able to provide that? How can I able to provide that? You can able to provide by using security groups. By using what? Security groups. In that, you need to allow HTTP. So you need to allow HTTP. What is the port number of HTTP? That is 80. So to allow, in order to allow the traffic coming from HTTP request, you need to allow the port number and specify the specify the protocol as HTTP so that your task, your task allows the security group. That means your container allows the security group to, to provide, uh, to allow the request sending from that security group. So in this way, you can able to create your cluster either by using Fargate and EC2, and you can able to create your task in ECS by specifying what is the image of your service? What is the image of your what is the image that contains your application code and where you want to run and what are the roles that you want to attach to your cluster, to your ECS to run the task and what is the security group where users can able to access your service. Those things you need to specify. Let's say since I have created my cluster, I have created my cluster. Now let's say I have gone for EC2 dashboard. So what is this? It's a ECS, nothing but EC2 container service. You can able to run, you can able to run your servers or applications in this ECS by using servers or instances. What instances? EC2 instances or Fargate. So in which format you are running your in which format you are running your application in containers right yes so how do we get these containers so in order to run your code under containers do i need to create images yes so i need to first create docker images right so i need to first create docker images and then then only i can able to run then only I can able to run my application in containers. So let's say, how can I able to run my application in containers? This Docker image contains my application and everything, everything that I require for my application. So to, to run this application, you run this Docker image in this container, then your whole application will be ran in the container then you got the response. This is how actually the you run your application in containers. Let's say I created my Docker image. Let's say I created my Docker image for my application. And now I want to run my Docker image in this container to get the output. So to host my server, to host my server, I want to run my container. So how can I run by using ECS? So in order to run, where you want to run? You have to run under clusters only. In this ECS, you have to run under clusters. So you can able to create your clusters by using Fargate or EC2 or external compute services. So let's say you choose an EC2s and Fargates. So now your cluster is created by using EC2s and Fargates. Now, so in order to run my in order to run my application, I first need to define my task. That is nothing but what I want to run my application, right? This is my task. What is my task? Running my application is my task. Running my application is my task. So in order to run your application, first you need to specify what is the Docker image that you want to run, right? So that you need to specify in this task and where you want to run in the ec 2s or Fargates in your cluster. You need to specify EC2 or Fargate. You need to specify that. So, so to run that, to run, to run your application in EC2 or Fargate, 
do aws require do aws require permission to access this ec2 or forget yes so aws require access for it so how can i how can this ecs will access by using role right so that you need to specify in the task and after running you're getting the website right so how users can able to access that website by using web search right how the web search will be by using http or https so let's say i want to allow the traffic which is coming from only http so so in order to provide access to the users who are searching from http you need to provide a security group while defining your task only you need to tell so the persons who are accessing my application by using this port that is port number 80 by using http protocol please allow them to access my website that you need to tell by using this security group okay now you created your cluster and you created your task definition that means uh, how your application where your application will be on where your application you want to run and what are the permissions uh, that you want to give to ecs to run your application and by using which uh, port number or which protocol the users can able to access your task all was defined now you want to launch now you want to launch now you want to launch your task that means you created a task and you created a cluster in this cluster you want to launch your task so how can you able to launch that in ecs in ecs you are having an option called services what is that services since since you are providing your application as a form of service aws provides you the option as services in ecs aws provides you option as services under that services you have an option to create a service so in order to create your in order to create your application so there is an option called services where you can able to provide your service by using that services in ecs and there only you can able to run your run your application so in the services you first need to create a service that is by using what you can able to create so while creating your service you need to tell on which on which on which servers your service will run either ec2 or aws so that you need to tell you need to tell either forget either forget you want to run your instances uh, you want to run your application or else under ec2 you want to run your application that you that you need to tell at first during by using this launch type in ecs okay i have told where either forget or ec ec2 where my application will run that i have specified okay now you have an option where where you have to tell you are launching a task or service that is so let's say i want to launch a web server for how much time i am running that i am running for i am running that web server i am running that web server for long term right yes so that you can able to tell by using service if you select service then you can able to tell that application type as you need to provide what is the application type whether it's a task that means task will just run once and then it stops right same like in batch if you want to execute batch batch in this ecs then you can able to execute this by using task where you can able to run a group of services or a task or a job in a single time but if you want long time service if you want to provide servers that is web application servers or database servers then how can you tell that it's my application service my application type is like that web server or application server there you need to provide the application type as service so whenever you say service then your application type will be chosen as this server type only now now in order to run in order to run my application do i need to tell do i need to tell run this task yes so to tell to tell which task contain your 
application which talk contain your docker image where the docker image has your application that you need to tell under family where family so you have an option to select your application docker image by using this family okay so in order to run in order to run your application seamlessly and provide services for users effectively so do do i need to provide do i need to provide auto scaling yes you can able to provide auto scaling for your servers so let's say i have a lot of traffic so in order to overcome the traffic do i need auto scaling yes so how can you able to provide that auto scaling in this ecs here only you need to tell load you need to attach load balancer so here only you need to attach a load balancer to your ecs okay yes so let me revise you back these things so what you are doing in this ecs you are just running your servers in containers by using this ecs so how do we run how do we run our application by using containers by using docker image i can create i can create docker image for my application and i can able to run in containers now in this ecs how can you able to run so in this ecs in order to run my applications first i need to provide my docker image right so that you need to define so where you have to run these you have to run these under clusters so first you need to create your cluster by specifying what are the parameters that you want so next next you need to tell you need to tell what is the task you, that you want to run right so where your task will be your task will be under docker container image so that you need to provide under task definition and what is the structure that you want to use and what are the roles and permissions that require and by using which port a user can able to access your services that also you need to specify that's it then in order to host this task definition on your cluster you need to tell right yes so if you go to your cluster then you have option call services there you can able to create there you can able to create a single service what is that how can you able to create for what you are creating for task definition you are creating first you need to define that task definition in the family type so after you specifying the task definition now now this cluster got now you define that service is task definition family and you need to tell what is the application type whether it runs for long time or short time if you want to run your web server then you need to run for long time right then you need to choose service if you want to run your if you want to run your code for short term that means if you want to run your batch workloads then you need to choose this task and where you want to run that also need to specify right so if you want to run ec2 that you need to specify ec2 if you want to run on forget then you need to specify forget so to provide to provide high availability do we need load balancer yes of course we need load balancer to provide high availability so after this creating service whenever you run that service then your application will be launched and ran now now you can tell me where your application dns will be where your application dns will be that will be present with this load balancer you can go and pick the load balancers dns load balancer dns from where from ec2 or else forget and then from ec2 you you just need to pick that load balancers dns and you can provide it to your clients then from there you your clients will able to access your website so in this way we can able to host our applications in ecs now let us analyze whether ecs is a regional level service or global level service elastic container service is a regional so why why do you say it's a regional service sir since you are providing since you are providing load balancing and auto scaling so 
in order to provide auto scaling do i need to create servers yes i need to create servers so where uh, can i able to auto scale can i able to auto scale in multiple regions yes i can able to auto scale in multiple regions but where my servers present in a in a availability zone right in availability zone my servers are present if i want to auto scale my servers where my servers will be increased in the same data center right in the same availability zone so can i say in particular region in which availability zone i have created my servers there my multiple ec2 instances will span yes so ec2 instances can span multiple availability zones in the same region only clusters are scalable that is ec2 instances are scalable you can able to scale instances in a region so clusters are scalable in a region only so ec2 ecs is a region regional service so that's why ecs is a availability zone level and ecs is a regional level service